So I'm ready and I'm not drinking any more of glass one because I want to save you it. You want to save it? I yeah. want to save it because it's delicious. I'm going to wipe off my lipstick. It's that much better. It's yeah. so good. Like they're Glass one is a master class in bourbon. They're both delicious though. And honestly, had we not had glass one and just had glass two, I probably would be like, oh, this is so good. Welcome to the channel, bringing a real world perspective to the real world whiskey consumer. I'm Josh. And I'm Erin. And we are back with another double blind head to head where we have no idea what's in either one of our glasses, yep. but we have drawn this pair from our head to head wild card sample pool where things are matched up because they make interesting matchups. It could be available versus allocated, inexpensive versus expensive. We don't really know, but what we're going to do is we're going to taste each glass, yes. give you our first impressions, take a minute to spend some more time comparing them, give them some rankings find out the price and then see if that influences our rankings before we find out what we're drinking. Yep. It's kind of a backwards review, but we do it this way so that you get the most honest opinions possible about what we think's in the glass based on the taste and the price tag yep. without any labels or hype or bias or anything like that. Let's go ahead and get right into glass one. I will say the color on these both look quite nice. Yeah, glass so, one especially. Yeah, on the nose. She's strong. She's <laughs> real strong. Pungent stings the nostrils. Outside of the stinging, I get butterscotch. Oh man, this is candy bar sweet profile to me. I freaking love bourbon when it has a candy bar profile. You yeah. get the chocolate, caramel, vanilla. You got that oak in the background. You know, it's not so prevalent in yeah. the glass that it's outweighing everything else. Yeah. It just smells like it's in such good balance. Man, this is smelling exactly like I want my bourbon like to smell. To taste it, it smells high proof. It does. So let's approach with caution because yep. this one might bite back. Cheers. I feel like this is right up your alley. <laughs> mm, the fact that things like this can exist from distilled corn grains aged in wooden barrels is phenomenal this is very good and honestly on the finish i'm getting a slight coffee finish oh man which i kind of really love it's got it's got cherry elements to it that bring in this kind of fruity mm -hmm. sweetness in com combination and i can't even talk right this glass is so good <laughs> it's got my mouth watering it's got the oak on the back end kind of like this yeah like a roasted coffee bean kind of yeah. thing like one of the, our favorite things to do is dump coffee beans in our little container, like roasted coffee beans, whole mm. beans, and then we can the smell, smell them. Oh, and it. this kind of taste like that smells. Yeah. Which, honestly, that smell is better than the taste of the coffee. Yeah. And this tastes like the coffee smell. Oh, I'm let's, loving let's, this. Let's go in for another nah, sip. I just, you know what? Forget this whole video. I'm just going to drink this glass. <laughs> I will say it does taste like it might be proofy, but it's balanced. I'm getting the cherry. I'm getting the oak. I'm getting less coffee on the second sip, which kind of makes my heart sad. I'm still getting it. I'm getting it. It's just less. I think it just hit me like more on the first sip, which I loved. Um, this is delicious. Yeah, it is. Glass two has got its work cut out for it. <laughs> yeah, it does. I'm not going to lie. There's a concentration of sweetness here that a lot of products don't ever get to. Yeah. And I want to, I want to, I don't disagree, but I want to caveat that with it's not sugary sweet or sickeningly sweet because I don't like super sweet things that make me feel like I'm going to have a sugar hangover. Yeah. I, I do not get that with this. It's like a balanced sweetness. This, in my opinion. This to me is bourbon extract. It's mm. like the difference mm -hmm. between a vanilla flavored beverage and vanilla extract. This is bourbon extract. Yeah. It tastes phenomenal. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Yeah. This is everything it's I want good. in a glass. I'm not saying it's the best thing I've ever had in the world. But I'm telling you, it's everything I want in a glass of bourbon. Tastes like bourbon. Let's get into glass two and see how it compares. Lord help it. Oh, this one's great too. It smells pretty good. Oh man. It smells pretty good. This one to me is butterscotchy. This one I'm is getting darker. Butterscotch on both. This one is darker, dark, fruitier, darker and fruitier. Okay. Whereas glass two to me has a little bit more just butterscotch. So I will say now I'm, I might not be doing this right, but I'm smelling them back to back. Let's do it. Glass one smells like old oh, library books. My goodness. <laughs> Glass one. And I, I love old library books like that smell. Yeah. So glad. And I just said more oak on glass two. And what I mean by that 
glass one actually smells older. Yeah, I was glass, glass two smells younger glass, and bright. A little brighter, but because the balance isn't quite to the level of glass one, the oak is a little bit more prominent. Yeah. It's, it's like butterscotch and oak, whereas glass one is like butterscotch and oak and vanilla and I, caramel yes, and I cherry agree. and all the other things that you could possibly imagine. I agree imagine. with what you're saying because, yeah. Well, the glass these are two both smells good. great. Oh, this, you know what this smells like? This smells like brown sugar, light brown sugar. Like you're putting your nose in a bag of light brown sugar. Light brown sugar, not the dark. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's taste it. Let's taste it. Interesting. It, it is very light on the palate. It's full of flavor though. Yeah. The, the butterscotch note that was on the nose is there on the palate. It hits right up front, kind of subdued, and then it just rolls into this oak, caramel, vanilla sweetness on the back end. Is it my birthday? I'm in love with both of these pours. <laughs> oh, I was like, what are you getting at? I mean, I'm... I do feel like one is a little... Or two, I'm sorry. This one is a little bit sharper. It is. It and is. a little bit brighter as far as it might be younger. It's more brash. It doesn't seem as well-rounded. Yeah. Like, it just needs a little bit of growing up. Yeah. But it's 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 a big boy bourbon. It's good. Like, it's well beyond almost anything else on the market already. Mm -hmm. It's just that glass one is an absolute monster that it's up against. I really do like glass one a lot. Glass one, I think, you know, this I don't smells. know when you're seeing this video or how our videos are releasing, but a while back we uh, we had a Welsh whiskey and you were like, if I wasn't already married, I would marry. This. I remember that. Yeah. I, this is this. If I wasn't already this, married, I would marry Glass this One. This is delicious. I I don't. I wouldn't blame you, honestly. Oh I, I wouldn't goodness. fault you for glass it. Glass Two is really good. You're back on Glass One. You're like, you know what? Forget it. We're no, just going back. They're both okay. I want to say they're both very, very good. But Glass One, for whatever reason, is everything I wanted it to be as well. Just like you, like, and I don't. We tend to like different. Just like me, like Glass One, just like me, or just like me, like me as a man and you, and I'm everything you want. Both. Okay, that works. Let's go with both. Yeah, we, we tend to differ in our flavor, like what yeah. we prefer, but I am 100% like this, the flavor in glass one is amazing. Yeah, glass two, very good. Just took my second sip of it. It has that butterscotch, caramel, oak profile to it, candy bar, yeah. a little bit of nuttiness is there, kind of like this like on the back end. So glass two is freaking great. Okay. Glass one is just elevated. Yeah, I think, touch I think that's what I'm getting to. Generally speaking, glass two is great, but it seems a little bit younger, less refined, should I say? And then glass one is just like an older, more mature version of glass yeah. two. It's incredibly hard to analyze glasses while you're talking to a camera. So yes. we're gonna take a minute and compare these. This is a very interesting comparison, so we want to make sure each glass gets its just due, and we'll be right back with our full thoughts, our rankings, find out the price, see if that changes anything, and then find out what we're drinking. So, see you in a few. All right, we're back. I'm in love. Let's go ahead and get into it. What did you think about two of these, both of these? Whatever. What do you think about this after spending some time? They're with them? both really, really, really good. You suggested I start with glass two and then go to a glass one. And glass two, when you taste it first, you're like, "Oh, this is really good. There's no way something can be better." And then you taste glass one, and you're like, "Oh wait, hold <laughs> up. Yeah, maybe I was wrong." Yeah, hold They're... up. Wait a minute. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. All right. So yes, yeah. they were both delicious. I have my rankings, however. Okay. Where you at? Glass. Let's start with glass two. Switch it up. Okay. Glass two gets a thumbs up. Okay. Glass one gets two thumbs up. Okay. Okay. This is very delicious. However, price point may make it go to one. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll find out what it is. And this is where when we taste blind, we feel like we're going out on a limb with this channel because we don't know what we're drinking. This Not could be this could be a readily readily available product. Or can't, it could, can't even speak. It's got my tongue tied. Or it could be something so allocated and so expensive that we'll never see it again. Right. Which to me, based on the taste, seems far more likely because Potentially. this to me tastes like a master class in bourbon. This yeah. is absolutely fantastic. I'm two thumbs up on both. Yeah, they're both I very love good. Both. And honestly, had I not tried glass one, I probably yeah. would have been said two thumbs up on glass two. When it's I, very good. When I tried glass two first, I was like, this is everything I want in a bourbon. And then I went to glass one and I was like, I, I don't know how it got better, but it got better. Yeah. Glass one is an absolute masterpiece. 
Glass 2 is amazing. It's I'm very nervous. good. I'm nervous to find out what these are. Yeah, I get nervous about this. So I'm two thumbs especially, up on both. Especially when we like something so much, I get very nervous. Right. When I don't, like when I can take it or leave it, I don't get nervous at all. Right. But you're, so we're both two thumbs up on Glass 1. You're thumbs up on Glass 2. I'm two thumbs up on Glass 2 because yep. I love it. Yep. I love it. I love it. I don't care who knows it. I'll shout it from the rooftops. I love it. All right. I love both buddy, of these. Buddy the elf. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay. We're going to find out price first, see okay. if that changes our rankings okay. first. So we're working with. on these two, glass number one is number 60 okay. and glass number two is number 59. Aaron is making noises. That makes well, me think things are happening. To some people, to most people, probably it's not that bad. To me it is because I'm cheap. Okay. What is, will, so we both prefer glass one. They're both the same What's price. What's the price? They're both the same price. Are you kidding me? They're $80. Both of them. A glass one's $80? Buy glass one. Hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. Glass one is $80. Mm -hmm. Buy it. Immediately buy it. Holy crap. I what mean, in the granted, world? hopefully it's something we could find. You could find. These are both $80. I'm staying two thumbs up on both. Yes. I'm staying the same on both as well. The two thumbs up on glass two and <laughs> thumbs up on glass. I mean, two thumbs up on glass one and thumbs up on glass two. I am stunned. I'm two thumbs up on both. I feel like glass one tastes like a $200 bottle. Glass one d does taste like something special, but we don't know what it is. It All might right. be very allocated. Glass number. Let's go ahead and start with glass number two, our least preferred. Number 59 in our pool. What is glass number two? Holy mother of Mary. Okay. I'm, I'm just, I Are see. Are you Catholic all of a sudden? These glasses have turned you Catholic? Oh my gosh, you guys. Shout out to the Catholics. Okay, yep. Yeah. Peace out, Catholics. Okay. <laughs> no, not peace out. Peace, Catholics. Peace to the Catholics. Peace to the peace Catholics. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Yeah. And with you. And with you. And with you. <laughs> um, okay. Oh my gosh. What is glass number two? Oh number 59 in our pool. I'm sorry. I need you know. A, I need a moment. Knows. I need a I moment. Don't. I need a moment. You got to hit Hang the bars. On. I, no, we're not hitting the bars. I'm the only person that doesn't know what glass is. My heart's is. beating so fast right now. What is glass number two? 59. <laughs> Stag Junior Batch 14. So that means glass one is Nashville Barrel Company, our pick oh, with, no. with ADHD whiskey. No, it's not. It totally is. I can't do that. We can't. That's we not hang fair. On, hang on. We didn't even change our ranking. We didn't even see if the price changed our rankings. No, I didn't. I, I was gonna hold. You, no, you did. You said you stayed two okay. thumbs up, and I said I'm staying the same as well. <laughs> well, that's not fair because okay. you can't buy that. You can't buy our pick anymore. I know you can't, but look, if you if you want our barrel picks, join our Patreon. That's where we do them. Oh my gosh, Dude. I want. Can we? Oh, I'm, I'm I'm like saving this for later because it's so dang good. This is why we picked it. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that is insane. I'm sorry, like. <laughs> I see why you say hit the bars. I know it's just whiskey. But I'm leaving this all in. Okay. I'm leaving this all in, guys. Okay. You've seen it all. This is our pick that we did in collaboration with, with Matt, Matt Porter, Porter of ADHD Whiskey. Yeah. National Barrel Company. These barrels are <laughs> in. Same. This is a five-year whiskey, y'all. Five year, 127 it tastes proof. Like ten year whiskey. I like thought so this good. I thought this I, I try not to think about what things are, but I thought this might have been Heaven Hill 17 year. Oh really? I don't even that know. Is what that is insane, means, but okay. Oh my goodness. It smells so good. It tastes so, so good. Wow. So we we have some bottles of wow. these like stored away. I mean one a, of them were couple, never never one of them were never one, gonna one open were never opening. Because yeah. that was like my that this was my first barrel pick ever. Yeah. Mine, because you've done yeah. a couple, but I had never been on one before, and this was my first one with Matt. So thank you, Matt, for wow. being on my first barrel pick with me. Wow. This is oh, yeah. This Thanks, is Matt. Yeah, shout out to Matt Porter, ADHD Whiskey. Yeah, I can't it, imagine if you're looking at our channel, you're not following his, but please go follow yeah, Matt if you're not. If for some wild reason yeah. you have never heard of HD8, wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. My mind is like exploding. Yeah, ADHD both, yeah. Whiskey, or if you have heard of him and you haven't checked him out, do it because he's amazing. He so funny he's way funnier than we are so oh, if yeah. you like us you'll definitely like him the wild thing here is that we both preferred glass one by a clear cut margin yeah it was very evident at first and then the gap narrowed as we tasted more but we still preferred glass one I, glass I one say, was always the winner what's very funny to me is that we had said that glass one tasted older and it was and by far younger. younger. It's younger, yeah. Stag Junior is reported to be eight to ten years old. Yeah. Batches. So at least by half, it was so younger. So Nashville Barrel Company with these Kelvin barrels. This is a Kelvin barrel. This is Kentucky source distillate out of a Kelvin barrel. And the Kelvin cooperage is a different animal than a lot of 
other distilleries mm -hmm. use. So like Buffalo Trace, for instance, uses independent stave. This is a little bit inside baseball stuff, but independent stave makes these barrels. Are you double checking our results? No, I want. I do want to say these are both higher proofs. And I wanted to say- Oh yeah, 127.44 and 130.2. Yeah. yeah. So their barrels at Kelvin, I don't know what kind of voodoo magic they have in there, <laughs> but they're fantastic. And these barrels are changing the game when it comes to whiskey and putting out really, really, really yeah. good whiskey at a young age. Five years old to be this good is insane. He told me off camera and he was like, Aaron, you're probably not going to like how much this costs. I thought this was a 200 plus dollar bottle. Yeah. That is unreal. Okay. We look, we're we totally, hang on. We're totally blind on this. Mm -hmm. We don't know what we're drinking. So we're not doing this to hype up our barrel picks. No, we're just, we did not know. I the, can, I'm shook still. Can I say the reason I put this in here? Yeah, I'd love to know. I put this in here because we called this National Barrel Company pick Swag Junior mm -hmm. because we feel like it tasted so much like Swag Stag Junior, but it stole its swagger. Yeah. Shout out to Matt for coming that up was, with that tagline. That was Matt's idea. He's yeah. like, it tastes a lot like Stag Junior, but it stole its swagger. It's better. It's darker. It's richer. But also I put this in here because I wanted to show that Nashville Barrel Company is doing fantastic work. All their stuff. And to show you that there are products out there for the same amount of money as the stuff that people are going out and paying 250, 300 or more dollars per bottle for Stag Junior. And there's products out there right now that exist that you can get that are every bit as good. If not better. Better, than, better today. Yeah. Clearly decidedly markedly better today yep. don't go crazy don't lose your mind fight the fomo fight the fear of missing Absolutely. out stag jr is a great bourbon i gave it two thumbs up i loved it but there are better things out there for about the same amount of money yep and a whole and lot less, less hassle less to get. hassle yeah i think that says it all go ahead and subscribe if you like this style of content these double blind tastings with no hype behind the label yep. That's what we do over here. Like the video if you liked it and go ahead and hit the bell if you want to join us for a pour on a live stream. They float around a little bit so the bell actually does help you out to know when we're going live. Absolutely. That's it for today. Be good to each other and until next time, cheers. cheers. God bless. How in the... Look, Dude, hang I, on. Hang, so, no, no, no. 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 I, I, like, when I saw that, <laughs> I, my heart started beating so fast because I was like... No, we can't get this anymore. I was so upset. Like, I was upset because we can't buy this anymore. I know. And no one can. Here's the problem, okay? I thought this was going to be a fun head-to-head -head when I put it in the pool. Well, it was fun. I had a great time. It, I did. I fantastically <laughs> love both of these glasses. The problem is, is that I didn't want it to be a Patreon pitch for our barrel picks because... But it's not. You, you very, like, very softly said something and then moved on. We did pick this, though. Yeah. How is this so good? Oh my God. We picked this barrel? Holy shinikes. That is insane. Do you own a pair of shinikes? <laughs>